So as we know, momentum is any object, the speed, or that is moving. And there's primarily two types of momentum. The first type of momentum is linear momentum, and it follows this equation. It's linear momentum equals the product of mass times velocity, which, in other words, is any object that's moving in a straight line. So picture like a train or maybe a rocket ship. The second type of momentum that we're mainly going to be focusing on is angular momentum. Now, angular momentum equals the product of inertia times omega. So angular momentum is an object that's rotating. So if I stand back here and do a back tuck, that's doable. But if I were to try to stand back there and do a back layout, I would have much more problems than a back tuck. Let's find out why. So since these two are products of each other, they vary inversely. So when the inertia goes up, the omega goes down and vice versa. So out there, when my inertia was down in a tuck position, the omega went up, I could do a rotation, right? But if I were to try to do a back layout, the omega would drastically decrease while the inertia increases. Therefore, I'd probably land on my face. Let's go check out some videos and I'll really show you what I'm talking about. So in this first clip, I do a double tuck, which is relatively easy. And in this second clip, I do a double layout, which takes a lot more energy. And from the time I start my tuck to the time I get out of my tuck, it's 0.7 seconds, where in the straight, it's actually 1.3 seconds. It's almost twice as long. Especially in gymnastics and flips, we like to play with our inertia. So if you're trying to do a double flip, then you're going to tuck for a certain amount of time when you increase your inertia so you can get ready to land. So in this clip, you'll see a triple. He holds the tuck as long as possible, then when he knows he's ready to open up, he opens up, increases his inertia, therefore he can see the ground and land. So I hope we now know what angular and linear momentum is, what momentum is, and how inertia plays a part in angular momentum. So if I'm trying to do a backflip, double backflip, double layout, or triple backflip, I can increase or decrease my inertia by spreading out to spread out my mass or tuck in by bring it all in so I can flip faster. Therefore, decreasing my inertia and inversely increasing the omega or the rotation. Thank you for watching this year's Breakthrough Junior Challenge.